Africa is an amazing continent. Um, when you come to Nigeria, Nigerians, we have a lot of amazing entrepreneurs. And in Nigeria, because we know that the government is not supporting anyone, so entrepreneurs have to take the, most of the matters to their hand. And recently, Stripe acquired one of the startups in Nigeria called PESA for 200 million US dollars. And Stripe launched the solution, and everyone in Silicon Valley and everyone in the global market were writing the story. So someone tweeted to the CEO of Stripe, and the CEO of Stripe said, yes, we know, like, uh, yes, this solution has been in Nigeria, one of the reasons they acquired. And also, they know that Silicon Valley is no longer the hub of innovation. See how entrepreneurs in Nigeria actually think. We think way, way ahead. And that's why... You see a lot of innovation. You'll be shocked when you enter the Nigerian market how many people are having different innovation every day. So entrepreneurs are innovating in Nigeria and in Africa. But Nigeria still leads some of this market. And we have a startup that is an IPO startup. I mean, like, it's a unicorn now. This is the genesis. This is the beginning of innovation in Africa. This is the beginning of innovation in Nigeria. And it's championed by the locals. That we just wake up every day and we keep like we can go global, we can go, we can solve our own problem as well and our own challenges. And also, when you look at the, our engineers as well, we have developers in Facebook, Google, Tesla, some of these major companies. So Nigerians can compete globally. We can compete with talent globally, and we can complete, compete with entrepreneurship globally as well. So the young entrepreneurs, I see more of younger entrepreneurs coming, and I'm really, really positive about the journey as well.